Let's roll. YouTube Steve here from Sick Baggers and my wife back here and today we are going to be reviewing the Bell SRTs. We just did a video on the Pack Talk Bowl Duos for you guys and we had some audio issues that we had to work out and hopefully I'm talking quiet enough today I'm actually not distorting the microphone inside here so you guys can hear this. So the full face helmets are a big change for us guys. We normally just wear skid lids. Uh, we wore the biker helmet skid lids for um, a couple years now. Uh, before that, some really super heavy, big, bulky skid lids. Um, so we got used to a pretty lightweight helmet. So when we decided to start doing the motovlogging, we started looking into full face helmets. And I haven't wore a full face helmet in probably 20 years or better. So a lot of improvements on the full face helmets since the last time I wore them, but still a whole lot of research to do to get uh, what I thought would be good for us. Uh, we really started out searching for an entry level full face helmet, which is what I think the Bell SRT falls into, a very entry level helmet. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with all of the details about the helmet. You can check it out on the website. There's tons of YouTube videos already on the on the helmets. It's just every one that I've watched so far has, uh, and it's probably one of the reasons why I bought the helmet. Every review I watched on it was just, this is the best helmet since sliced bread. So, so we started with the head shape and all of that and uh, the measuring got what we thought we needed and the helmets fit good. They, they fit nice, they weren't quite as heavy as I thought they would be, but the cheek pads in mine were pushing my face in so hard that it hurt. So I got on the phone with Bell uh, because I couldn't really find out what size cheek pads came stock with this helmet and ended up being the size that I ordered um, a large, right? Did I order a large? Yeah. The large came with 35 millimeter, so I needed to get the 30 millimeter, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it does make a huge difference. Like, it was pushing my cheeks in, so, I mean, it physically hurt. Like, I know you're gonna get the chipmunk cheek thing, and but when you have pain after wearing it for 10 minutes, that's not good, that's too tight. 20, 25 bucks later or something like that, I got a set of cheek pads that were 30 millimeter. Put them in, very nice, perfect fit now. I like the way that it fits. So we've been wearing the helmets for a couple of weeks now, I guess, off and on, maybe six or seven rides. Yeah. And she didn't have any trouble with hers said that the cheek pads were fine and that it fit good. Mine's uh, been great. It's not near as heavy as it looks like it would be. Yeah, because we're, we're so used to the skid lids. Like, and then you see this big full face helmet and you're like, huh, that's going to weigh a ton. It's going to hurt my neck. It's going to be super hot. Um, we really haven't got into the hot season yet. Or it's not. I mean, it's like 70 today. It's like perfect riding weather. There has been a couple of times when the sun was just blaring down on us that I just kind of felt suffocated. And that was with the vents open too. I mean, it does provide, it does have three vents. Uh, one down here at the bottom, one here at the top, and then one at the very top up here that are pretty easy to get to. Like, I kind of still have to fumble around to get them open. They're not... Um, I guess probably after a while of wearing it, I'll get used to it. So that's one thing that I didn't really care about the vents was for me trying to, now of course the one with the camera, it's gonna be hard to get to. But this one right here is right above the shield, just kind of tucked in, it's kind of hard to get to. And then the top one, it's not too bad. I mean, it's literally right there. They do provide a little bit of vents, not a ton, I don't think. But again, we're talking uh, roughly $200 entry level helmet. 
you have to keep in mind when I talk about the things that I don't really care for about the helmet, you have to keep in mind that once again, this is a very entry level helmet. Uh, Bell makes an awesome helmet. We've all heard of Bell. Anybody that's been around motorcycles at any point in their life has heard of Bell. They're a great company. Uh, the customer service was awesome when I called them. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm reviewing this helmet and telling you all the crappy things about the helmet, because it's not. Um, it's just a $200 entry level helmet. So just keep that in mind as I talk about the things that um, I was hoping for in a helmet. As far as comfort, I think it's a great helmet. Like I feel comfortable in the helmet. I do like the Panovision shield because this goes back so far. And I feel like I can see really far around us uh, without having to turn too much. Uh, of course, with a full face compared to a skid lit, like checking your blind spots, uh, it's a lot more head movement than you do with a skid lit. Uh, but with the Panavision shield, it's very nice. Now this one just came with the clear shields. So, uh, but there are other ones that you can get tinted. Uh, you can get the ones that the transitions, um, that actually, you know, they're clear in the sunlight and change to dark at night. Uh, they have several different shields for these helmets. And these these shields actually fit this helmet and I think three or four different Bell brands. And super easy to change out as well. Push the, push the button right here on the side and just slides out and the whole shield comes out. But, uh, and you can put your new one in. So even if you had uh, a clear one and a dark one, maybe for day and night, uh, it wouldn't be that bad to change out pretty quick. So that's a couple of things that I like about the helmet. And I think Mary probably agrees with me too uh, on these features. Like it's her first time ever wearing a full face helmet. So what's your opinions on it so far? Well, like you said, it is my first time. So I don't have anything to compare it to. And other than trying to learn how to put it on, without it smashing my face. I, I like it. Um, I didn't have any problems with it smashing on my cheeks. I mean, it felt weird at first because they do push a little, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not near as heavy as it looks, and I thought that was going to be a problem, but it hasn't been at all. Uh, I like the fact I feel much safer with this than the skid plate. Uh, mine seems to fit perfect very comfortable. Uh, I agree with the being able to see side to side. It doesn't block your vision. I like that. But I like to look around and see what's going on around me. Um, and you would... Is there anything that you don't like about the helmet? Uh, really, there's really not that I can say that I don't like. Now, like he stated earlier, we've only worn, had them on about, you know, five or six times. But as of right now, I don't really have any complaints. Um, now, as I'm learning, you know, how to open the vents, and mine hasn't really seemed too hot yet. Maybe one day when it was like in the 90s, I did when we would stop have to pull up my visor. But I really don't have any any negative on the helmet. So I'll flip the shield up too. That's one thing that I like about the shield also is the thumb piece down here at the bottom. It's very easy to find. It's very easy to push it up. So the one thing that I think some other helmets offer when you open the shield, it probably clicks a little bit as it goes up. So you can either have it up or down or you know like part way just to kind of let some air in you can pop this one up and let some air in but if you try to put it you know a little higher than just open it just slams back shut but it definitely clicks good so you know that it's shut it's not going to fly open on you uh, if it's clicked down but if you do want to open the shield like all the way even while you're riding, it's gonna stay. You probably just heard a drastic change in the microphone because we're at 55 right now, so. If I had to say 
one negative thing about the helmet, it would be the chin strap because it has a normal clasp where you have to feed it through, pull it down, pull it up and snap. And I prefer the quick release. Yeah, so the $100 helmets that we bought uh, from Biker Helmets just comes pretty much uh, standard on all of their helmets with a quick release and we just got used to that it's not something that usually i guess probably comes on a helmet so that was something else that was had to be purchased so we had to buy some little uh, quick release um things for the helmet strap and i i did think of another positive you don't have to worry about getting hit by a bug anymore in the bank right yeah right so yeah, no more uh, catching uh, big locusts and June bugs and grasshoppers right in the face or in the forehead. That's always a good time. Uh, been hit by several of those. So, one other thing I did like about the helmet, right here on the sides, they leave you plenty of room for sunglasses. A lot of helmets don't have that kind of notch out there for glasses you get them on it's just super tight and it hurts uh, these work really good like i'm these are oakley gas cans usually what i wear and uh, they seem to slide right in and out so pretty cool are the ear canals that are cut out in the sides underneath your cheek pads um they're they're fairly deep uh so when we hooked up the pack talks and put the jbl speakers in there was plenty of room so you don't have a big speaker pushing on your ear and if you want to use earbuds or anything like that you're not going to have to worry about that like pushing uh, into your ear which is really nice and, you know and one one big thing that i talked about just a little bit at the beginning was a snell rating so um 2015 snell rating on these helmets so you use the fiberglass shell uh, so it felt pretty safe with them on uh, a lot safer than the skid lids for sure if you don't know anything about snail writing or anything like that and you're watching this video because you're thinking about getting a full face helmet i'll put the link down to snail down below and it will show you uh exactly what we're talking about so not only you know you just look for the dot symbol but also look for the snail writing as well and there's several different uh several different listings for snail so these i believe are 2015 and don't really have too much else to say about the helmet they're um for i think around 200 bucks they're a pretty decent helmet like i said entry level so just keep that in mind um if you're in the 200 dollar range looking for a helmet this is going to definitely be uh one that uh you can have a look at and read some reviews on and stuff uh, but as far as the bell helmets goes uh the bell srts uh, which, by the way, they do offer this in a modular version as well. So if you like that, check those out. I did pick these up at getlowered.com. I'll put the link down in the description down below if you want to check them out. Uh, I deal with those guys all the time over at Get Lowered, and they are awesome. They got these out to me. Even during this pandemic, they got them out to me pretty quick. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, that was our pros and cons of the Bell SRTs, but don't forget during this video I wasn't bashing the Bell SRT. Like I said, it is what it is for a $200 helmet. It's a strong contender in the $200 price range, so don't pass this one up. Uh, those are just the little things, the little quirks and kinks that I was looking for in a helmet, and it had some, and then it didn't have some of the other ones, so not a big deal, but still a very nice helmet in the $200 range. So do you have anything else for our audience today if they're still hanging in there with us? Um, yeah, I'd like to say thank you for hanging in there with us and if you're still there. And thank you for supporting the channel. And thank you for sticking with us while we try new things. Some you'll probably like, some you don't. Just reply down in the comments. We still will be doing, you know, install videos as well as they come along. Uh, it might not be as many. We've built two bikes in the last couple of years and shared a lot of information with you guys. So uh, time to start reviewing some of this stuff. So we're going to wrap up the Real Talk Bell SRT video. Thanks for hanging in there and watching it. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button popping up over here. If you want to 
see a couple more videos you got one popping up over here and down here we're going to enjoy the rest of our rides until the next video you guys be safe and keep your knees in the breeze